in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your own business, right? By yourself, you don't have to pay any outside company to set this up for you. So I'm going to show you how to do it super quick. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Um, I probably have it in a thumbnail or something, but I know it's going to be super quick on showing you guys how to set it up yourselves, right? So follow along and let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Google, right? Now, when you go to Google, now I'm in Illinois. You want to put whatever state you're in and put Secretary of State, right? So if you're in Illinois, put Illinois Secretary of State. If you're in Tennessee, Tennessee Secretary of State. And that's what you're going to put. All right. Um, excuse me. But so in Illinois, Secretary of State, you're going to go to official website. And you're gonna go to should be a tab right so business tab you're gonna go incorporated business right as you're gonna go for Illinois right so in Illinois is called your articles of organization right so I'm gonna find that um, incorporated right now. so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up an LLC Right now, it used to be some called Articles of Organization, but you know, sometimes they switch stuff around. All right, so you're gonna go to okay, it's right here. So you're gonna go to there and then you're gonna go, I wish to form a standard. Uh, which is not ability, so I don't want to do all this extra stuff, right? With the ability to establish series, right? We're gonna go just regular, you know what I'm saying? So it's above information agreed to, you know, you guys can read that. I'm gonna go to yes. Right, if you go to no, you probably won't be able to move forward, right? So these are just uh, you know, some things you gotta agree to. Now, when it comes to setting up your business, right? Now, a lot of people, they'll go and get their domain first, right? That's your blah, 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 dot com, right? Whatever your dot com is. Now, when it comes to, you know, getting that dot com, you wanna make sure there's no other businesses with your same name. Right, so when it comes to setting this up, I, I believe is, in my opinion, it's best to, you know, set this up with your secretary of state and then go get your dot com, right? And then sometimes the dot com is already taken. So actually it's best if you, you know, do like your search, you know, um, well, with this, LL, with this LLC, like in this portion, like if I put something, um, Put Tony's LLC. So they're gonna show you, you know, all the different names that's kind of similar, right? So it's kind of like a search in a sense, right? So you wanna do something like this, and then you wanna search like GoDaddy. Or I, I usually use Namecheap to get my domains. We're just gonna go to Namecheap. You know, you can go to GoDaddy as well. So, if I go to Tony's, oh, not LLX. All right, so this right here is available, right? Um, so this would be a good, you know, business name, right? Because you don't see any Tony's LLC now. The yellow is going to show you, like, you know, what companies. Is similar because I put LLC. There's no other companies with Tony's, right? You got this company, but I got Inc. Um, there's no one, you know, with a T O N Y S. You know what I mean? They got Tony's with the Z, uh, Tony LLC, right? Similar, but it's not exactly the same. You know what I mean? So this would be a good business name, right? So this is part of the process when you're setting up your business, right? So I can. Firm, I review the names. Using name applied. Excuse me. All right, so we're gonna go to continue. All right, then you're gonna put your address. Right. 
and then you can put your registered agent, registered office. So if you're by yourself, right, this is your company, you know what I mean? You're going to put yourself as a registered agent, right? You know, sometimes, you know, there's people you could put as a registered agent, but, you know, you're setting all this stuff up by yourself. You make yourself the registered agent. So I'm going to put my name, you know, first and last name, right? Just put first. This the man name is first and last name. You go one, two, three Main Street City. You pretty much put the same thing, right? Haha, <laughs> alright, so uh, just put this address, right? So when you put your address, you know, you probably ain't gonna put it, you know, this detail, right? So just make sure, you know, the, the this part up here is the same and this is pretty much the same, right? In the zip code, all right? Make sure all that stuff's the same and then you're gonna continue. No, not continue without that. You're gonna choose this address, right? Because you want stuff to be matched up with here, right? Just you know, these are the people that's going to give you mail. You know what I'm saying? So, choose this address. Address is correct. And this is another, this is another thing, right? Now, when you're setting up your business, right, you can add, you know, people to your business, right? If you have business partners, you know, you can add them um, to the business, right? Through the articles of organization, right? So, you can go to continue because I'm not going to add anyone. At least one name. Okay, you put yourself. All right. And then right here. You're gonna put the organizer, which is you, right? So you're gonna put your first and last name. Um, see how simple this is? And people, people will charge you an arm and a leg just to do this. You know what I'm saying? And it's super easy to do. I know there's a whole bunch of videos out there on YouTube, but you know, if you guys are, you know, following me at my channel, you know, rather you're a cleaning business or um, whatever business I got from the templates that's on my YouTube channel, you know, this is for you guys, right? So this is pretty much it, you know what I mean? You got expedited, no expedited, so with the expedited in Illinois, um, I believe it's like a hundred, yeah, 100. So the fee to set this up is 150. And if you want to do expedited, it'd be a hundred, which is 250 all together. Now, if you don't want to do expedited, you know, it'd be just 150, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much how you set all of this stuff up. Then you're going to put your information and go to continue, right? Now, once you set that up, you want to make sure you have an EIN, right? That's like a business social security number, right? So you're going to go here, go to Google. This is where people mess up at all the time, right? You know, there's a lot of things online where you're trying to do something as a business. They ask for your EIN number. Right, and people are oh, I don't know how to get my EIN number, right? And then they go to this or something, or they go to this, this link, right? These are sponsored um, links, which are ads, advertisings, advertisements, right? So this right here is the government website. This isn't no advertisement, right? They're not advertising for you to get no employee identification number, right? This is what you wanna click, right? This is free, right? There's no fees or anything with this, right? So you're gonna click that. Now, it is after hours, um, but you're gonna click this, right? You wanna make sure it's, you know, regular um, business times, right? Which is a little weird to me, you know, because it's online, but you know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure you're in the, in the hours of operation and then you wanna click apply online now. And it's gonna go through the whole process. It's gonna be similar 
to this process, right? The only difference is you're going to put LLC, right? You're going to be a, a like a solo, right? And if you got some, you know, partners, there's a there's like a, a tab for you to click for that as well. But it's super self-explanatory, right? Then you're going to go to, yeah, then you're just going to fill it out, right? So that's how you set up your business, right? That's the proper way to set it up. And this, I don't even know how long this video was. Video was super short, right? Now with the articles of organization, the expedite, I think it's what, 24 to 48 hours, right? So you can set your business up in the span of, Maybe you could set it up in like less than an hour, right? And as far as you getting all the paperwork and stuff, it's probably going to take, it's going to be less than a week, right? Maybe even three days, right? Tops. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how you set up your business, right? Now, I hope you guys like this video. I know it was super simple, super quick. You know, I like having these quick videos because a lot of this stuff don't take a lot of time. A lot of people procrastinate and just, you know, they believe, you know, they can't get stuff done, but this is easy, man. And people will charge you a arm and a leg just to do this, right? So I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you need a template, go to digitree.io. And check out all the templates if you're a business owner, you're thinking about starting a business. We got templates for many different niches, uh, niches, uh, niches, or however you say it, niches. You know what I mean? All you got to do is pick and, and choose whichever one is going to work for you. All right? My name is Tremaine and thank you for watching.